All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up another collection I got of Magic the Gathering cards that I purchased off of eBay. This one came in a big Priority Express mailbox. Uh, this lot didn't cost a whole lot of money, a little bit more expensive than some. Uh, this one only cost me $25 and then $14.35 for shipping and handling. It was like a best offer, so I sent up a best offer $25 and they accepted it. And this just honestly looks like a crazy mess of spewed out cards. It honestly looks like there might be a couple Pokemon cards thrown out throughout there. So it just looks like someone's collection of Magic the Gathering cards. And yeah, I just thought it would be very interesting to get it, check it out with you all. Really not sure what's in here. Just going to be a completely mixed bag, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to open it up and check it out with you all. So, let's just go ahead and open this up. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. It's been awfully cold and a bit snowy lately. And I hope you guys' weather has been wonderful for you. Let's see. Winter is finally here in full force, it feels like. Alright, let's just cut this open. These big Priority Mail Express boxes. There we go. And I feel like the cards are literally just going to be spewed out in here. There's probably not going to be any paper or anything. I feel like it's literally just going to be cards thrown in here. <laughs> and let's pull this paper aside. Da da da. Just some information from the eBay seller. And then just literally, let's just pick up the camera. A bunch of stuff right here. What is this? Yu Gi Oh cards? Kon Konami? Wow. There might even be some old Yu Gi Oh cards in here. Okay, let's just kind of. Uh, go through this i'm really not sure what we're gonna get it just looks like a whole lot of cards spewing in here thrown around not really sure what is the rhyme or reason it looks like a random uh, ultra pro page and there's only one card in it but it happens to be a rare i'm probably not going to keep any of the card sleeves or anything like that so i'm just literally going to just start I guess we'll take out some piles at a time. Let's just go through whatever these pages are first. Looks like the first card I got is a rare from M14. So some cards from M14. Garrox, Horde, 5, and 2 greens. Trample. Play with the top card of your library revealed. That's cool. You may cast the car top card of your library if it's a creature card. That's pretty cool. It's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7 mana. And it has Trample. And it's a beast. And you can play with the top card of your library. And if it's a creature heavy deck, which it probably is for green, you can use it. Very cool. Let's just see what other cards there are. So there's like these really old, just dilapidated sort of Ultra Pro pages. Um, I'm not even sure why they kept them in the pages, but yeah, we'll just kind of go for it. Maybe at one point they were in some sort of book or like folder, but right now they're just, yeah, not even going to keep these pages. And I feel like some of these cards could be a bit damaged, like this one right here, just completely ripped up a bit. Let's just kind of go through these. Let's just take them all out before anything. I'm probably not going to keep any of the sleeves. Looks like some anime sort of girl sleeve. Let's take these out. Random Magic the Gathering sleeve. Is it Tefiri or something like that? Slesnia Guildgate Blossoming Sands. Looks like this was for some sort of green and white deck, maybe. Mm, Divine Verdict M13. Uh, got a Griffin. Got a Rakdos Clue Stone. The Clue Stones are cool. Uh, looks like I got another rare card right here. Rurik Tar of Unbowed. Four a green and uh four red and a green. Vigilance and Reach. Interesting that Reach. It's a six six. Um and a taxi turn of able. Whenever you creature casts a non creature spell, deal six damage to that player. Wow, if you play this against like a blue deck or something like that, and your opponent's casting like ops and stuff like that, each op does six damage to them. That's pretty crazy. Alright, and then it looks like another page right here. This one seems to be actually a full page. Um, very strange. Interesting. I wonder if one at one point these were all in some sort of booklet or something or some sort of folder. And what is the story behind why they came out of the folder? <laughs> Who knows? Some random red Ultra Pro sleeves. Let's take these all out. And like these are these are pretty nasty. Let's just see. It's always fun to get some collections and stuff online. You never know what you're going to get. Just treat it like, uh, don't treat it like an investment or anything like that. Just treat it for fun. Because uh, you never know what you're going to get. You could just get a thousand lands. You could get a thousand something great. You just never know. Let's just kind of tear these. Well, those were like fused together a bit. It looks like you're getting some cards of all sorts of ages, which is nice. I saw some Kamigawa, Avon Crest Restored, uh, an Uncommon. I'll start some piles of stuff with Commons Uncommon, Pile for Damaged Cards, just because I feel like there's going to be quite a few damaged cards in here, just because they're literally thrown in a flat rate shipping box and just shipped here. 
I mean, the lot wasn't very expensive, and honestly, buying it, after seeing the picture of it, all the cards just spewed out on the ground, I kind of just assumed that they'd come in a box just kind of without any protection. So, really, nothing too much of a surprise. The only surprise is going to be what cards are going to be inside of here. Let's just see. There we go. Almost got all these sleeves out. It looks like some of the other cards in the box that are just spewed through there have some sleeves on as well, so we'll kind of get through those as they come. A pile of rare, common, uh, non-basic lands, got Crush, uh, what is this, I can't remember, this Dragons of Tarki or something, Beckoned Apparition, Wandering Wolf, very yeah, cool, Cat Warrior for M15, what is this, um, some Besiege set I think, Tome Scour, Mental Agony, Got an uncommon right here. Some of these are definitely a little bent. Random like pieces of wood. Weird. Got Puppeteer, Conjurer, one in a black. You pay blue, put a zero blue homunculus artifact creature token into play. That's cool. So you make some tokens and he's controlling them. Angle this down just a touch. Raging Poltergeist, Renown Weaver. Uh, this is Kamigawa stuff right there, very cool. So right now there's quite a big range of cards. I see things from like Cons of Tarkir, I believe this is, to Kamigawa, M15, M13, very cool. So a nice little selection of cards. And I'm just going to grab out piles, <laughs> and we'll just kind of go through them and see what we get. This is going to be a longer form video, but I, I hope you enjoy these. Looks like right off the bat we got some sort of mythic. I forgot there's chances for mythics. Um, got Elder Scale Worm. It's four and three green to seven seven with trample. When it enters a battlefield, if your life total is less than seven, your life total becomes seven. As long as you have seven or more life, damage that reduced your life total to less than seven is reduced to seven instead. That's cool. So damage uh, that reduces your life less than seven, just your your life can't go less than seven. That's cool. Interesting card. One day it'd be cool to make some sort of worm deck. And it's nice to see that this card isn't too bent up or chewed up or anything like that. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of cards in here that are completely chewed up. Like this Seer Sundial. I've actually... Oh no, what is this? It has a little bit of a corner bend. Obviously you can bend it back, but yeah, some of these are definitely going to be damaged. It's an artifact from some sort of commander deck. Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, you may pay two if you do draw a card. So, some card draw from your land. Very cool. It's four generic mana cost. Oh, look, some Ice Age. That's kind of interesting. So some older set right here. Snowfall, Community of Upkeep for one. Islands produce an additional blue, one tap for mana. Um, this mana is usable only for Community of Upkeep. Snow-covered lands may produce either an additional two blue mana or blue mana, one tap for mana. Uh, it's only usable for Community of Upkeep. So for like Mystic Maror, Mo, uh, Mystic Remor or something like that, that would be useful. Cool, Ice Age card. I'll set a pile for cards without uh, rarity. Um, a weird card. Evans says Judgment. What is this? Shadows of Innistrad. One in red. It's got Madness Cost for X in a red. It deals two damage divided as you choose any number of target creatures and or players. If its cost was paid, it deals X damage divided. You choose any uh, among those creatures and or players instead. Okay. So I think like there could be a whole mixed bag in here. I'm really not sure what I'm going to get in here. Also, random Pokemon cards. I really don't know a whole lot about Pokemon cards other than like Charizard <laughs> and like Blastoise and uh, Pikachu and uh, Squirtle. And uh, what is the starters? Bulbasaur. I remember playing Pokemon Blue a lot when I was younger and I always liked Blastoise. So, uh, random old Pokemon card. I'll set a pile for that. Looks like I got. Uh, Lich Lord of Unix, one a blue and a black. It's a zombie wizard, very cool. Uh, X and a bl I mean uh, blue and a black. Tap, put a blue black zombie creature wizard token into play. That's cool. It makes wizard and zombie tokens. Uh, well, wizard zombie creature tokens. So that's cool for tribal, either wizard or zombie. Bl two blue, two black. Target player loses X life and puts X cards of his or her library into a graveyard where X is the number of zombies you control. That's a fun card. That'd be cool for like a commander or something like that. Very cool. A random old unglued Timmy Power Gamer. <laughs> what in the world? This is um like one of the unsets. It's either unhinged or unglued or I don't remember. Two and two green. Four, put a creature uh, into play from your hand. That's pretty cool. Edward P. Beard Jr. And obviously these are unsets. They are the silver border. So honestly, kind of surprised to see that in here. This is just like a mixed bag and I love collections like this. You never know what you're going to get. A random Eldrazi spawn token. I'll set that over there. 
a random uh, Dark Thicket Wolf, beautiful wolf from Innistrad, Avon Skirmisher, uh, Spark Mage Apprentice. Some of these cards definitely have been used and loved. Another random uh, pamphlet page. Let's just kind of go through this and see. I really don't know what I'm going to find in here. Oh, I just saw something pretty cool, actually. Let's see. Take these all out. Yeah, these videos are def This is definitely going to be a longer video, but honestly, I enjoy this so much, and I hope you all enjoy it just as much with me. And I hope your day is going wonderful. I really do. Man, these pages are a little bit filthy. I'm excited to see what we get from here. Got a random forest. I'll set that in the actual set of new pile. Got non-basic lands, got lands. And at the end, I'll probably do a once-over of everything I got. Random tip card. I don't even really need that. Cyclops. Um, Journey to Nyx. Actually, they're coming out with like a new set of Nyx, I believe. Or something like that. Stormcaller of uh, Karanos. Two in a red. Haste. You can scry one if you pay one in a blue. It's two, two. Very cool. These are uncommons. I saw something cool right here. This is cool. Got Reanimate um, from, uh, what is this, the Deckmaster series. This is a pretty good card. Reanimate 1, black. It's a sorcery. Put target creature card from your graveyard into play under your control. You lose life equal to that creature's converted mana cost. Great card. Put any cre put a creature from your graveyard to play for 1 black mana. If it was instant speed, that would be ridiculous. But it's already pretty ridiculous. I'm going to actually put this right here. Great card. Got Necrobite. Random old um, card right here. What is this? I don't know, we've got Fear, two black from Ice Age, uh, gives a creature fear. Another one of these, got Cursed Flesh, this is Exodus, one black enchant creature, enchant creature gets negative X, uh, negative one, negative one, it cannot be blocked except by artifact creatures and black creatures, so gives a fear and a little bit less power, okay, Exodus, great set, uh, Sands of Delirium, three mana for M13, X tap target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Very cool. So it's like uh, the white pure sand is turning into like blood or something like that. You can just see this person. They're like melting away. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, Indiana Jones when they're looking for the Holy Grail. That guy's sitting in that, that area. Got Charles Urbrecht Drew. Very cool. So rare. So right now I'm really liking this collection. This is uh, pretty beat up. I'll set that in the beat up pile. Canopy Strider. Some uh, 8th edition. Love it. Some of these cards are definitely a bit... Warped Goblin Replica. This is Morden. Very cool. I have no idea what I'm going to find here. Got Matter Reshaper. Two and a uh, Colorless. Very cool. Back when Wastes. Well, Wastes are still a thing. So 3-2. When it dies, reveal the top card of your library. You may put that card in the battlefield. If it's a permanent, we refer to mana cast three or less. Otherwise, put it that card into your hand. That's pretty cool. Some pretty powerful things, I'm sure, can be going through that. Nice to see that. What do we got here? Super. Some of these cards, I feel like there's some grit or something on that. Tidy Conclusions. Looks like I got myself another actual um, Mythic from Cons of Tarkir or Dragons of Tarkir. Two and two red flying. It's a phoenix. When it dies, return it to the battlefield face down. So it has a morph cost. And you can morph it back up for four and two uh, red. And you can play it down. You can also morph it from your hand if you want. Very cool. When it's turned face up, it deals two damage to each player. It's a 4-1. That's pretty cool. So you can kind of keep dealing damage when you keep morphing it back. And when it dies, it comes back to battlefield. Phoenixes in this game are always cool. Phoenixes always get reborn from the flames. Love it. Uh, random rolling t uh, temboil. Random card sleeve. Got Ankh of Krug. Ankh. I like the word Ankh. Uh, this is from, what is this? 5th edition, I believe. Messy. This, this card has a bunch of stuff on it. Prevent 1 damage to any creature or player. Set this in the older pile. Uh, Driver of the Dead. Cool colors. Uh, another rare. Got Spirit Away. Reminds me of Spirited Away. 5 and 2 blue enchant creature. You control enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and it's flying. That's pretty cool. It's quite expensive. 7 mana, but you control... You can take control of one of your opponent's creature, also give it flying, and some strength and toughness. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Got a Griff's Boon. Got some sort of uh, horse-swan hybrid. Interesting. Uh, Savage Surge. A mountain. Containment membrane. Put that in the mountain pile. Uh, Journey to the Nyx. Uh, extinguish all hope. Uh, destroy all non-enchant mint creatures for four and two black. That's very cool. I remember Journey to the Next, a lot of it, their creatures were like, 
you could have them be creatures or like enchantments kind of interchangeable very cool oh that's cool to see that random drake token and a random human token wow look at the beautiful art on that by michael c hayes that's lovely so you got a rare from some sort of set some of these sleeves are just like filthy uh Indulgent Tormentor, 3 and 2 black. It's a demon with flying. It's a 5 3. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Unless target opponent sacrifices creature or pays 3 life. That's pretty cool. So you get card draw, or if not, they have to contour it by either paying 3 life or sacrificing a creature. That's pretty cool. Not sure what set that's from. Some sort of box set, though. Got Lightning Elemental. Another island. Oof. Uh, what is this? Flesh Bag Martyr. This is a great card. For zombie, or yeah, for zombies. Um, when it enters a battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. I like uh, I like cards that say each player sacrifices a creature or target player sacrifices a creature because you can get rid of creatures with like hexproof, which I think is awesome because it's not actually targeting it. I forgot there is a chance for foils. It looks like I did get a foil from like new Pyraxia. Very cool, uh, and it's not too bad condition. Surprising. Definitely gonna get some cards in here that are just. Beat, beat the heck. Choose one or both. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. And return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Very cool. A whole bunch. Uh, what is this? Like Lorwyn or Morning Tide? Uh, Mud Button. Torch Runner. Uh, not Forgotten. Just a whole bunch of stuff. You've got a forest. You've got a, the Chosen. The Snake coming right at you. Another Mythic from um, Battle for Zendikar, I believe. Or... Uh, what was that other set? I can't remember. 4 and 2 blue. Sorcery. Surge for 3 and 2 blue. You may cast it for its surge cost of a teammate. Cast another spell this turn. So this is back when like Battle Bond, the sort of team building um, games were going on, I guess. Return all non-land permanents to the owner's hands. If Crush of Tentacles surge cost was paid, put an 8-8 eight, eight blue octopus creature token onto the battlefield. Could you imagine that? 8-8 eight, eight token. Uh, that's pretty beast. Mythic. Oh, nice. Another Mythic. So I'm getting actually quite a few Mythics, which is honestly not what I expected. I didn't really know what to expect. It's good to go into these things not expecting anything. Got a World of Fire. Just looks like some sort of mage is on the ground, creating a huge wrath of fire. Six and three red. Super high mana cost from M13. XLR permanents. XLR cards from all hands in graveyards. Each player's life totally becomes one. Holy moly. That's a beast of a card. You don't just destroy permanents, you exile them all. You exile all cards from all hands in all graveyards. So you pretty much, everyone gets rid of their hand, everyone gets rid of the graveyard, everyone gets rid of all their lands and everything, and everyone's life total becomes one. That's a crazy card. That would be fun. It pretty much starts the game over anew, and you each have one life. What a crazy card. Spawn of Rix Mendy. Uh, got Thought Not Seer. That's an Eldrazi. Represents colorless mana for three and a colors. Four, four. Enter the battlefield. Target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non light card. They exile it. When it leaves the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. So you get to exile one, but when it dies, they, they get to draw one. Uh, swamp. Not when it dies, when it just leaves the battlefield. Plague Witch. Really like this art. I like the foil version of it. This is from uh, Nemesis, I believe. Cool to see some older cards in here. M13 stuff going on. What is this? Uh, Abrupt Decay. Cool card. Uh, black and a green. Abrupt Decay. Decay can't be countered by spells or abilities, so it can't be countered. Destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost 3 or less. That's a great card. Very cool. Crazy looking art, too. So quite a bit of rare cards, actually. Was this for World Wake or Zendikar, the original? Some Nemesis. I'm actually set aside an older pile. I like these older cards. Got... Silken Fist Fighters, set that up there. My legs. Got Mizumi Mortars, one in a red. Deals four damage to target creature you don't control. That's pretty good. It's a sorcery and deals four damage to target creature you don't control. I mean, unless you want to target yours, it's not going to be a problem. And it has an overload. You may cast this spell for its overload. If you do, change the text by replacing all uh, instances of target with each. That's cool. So and you can also make this uh, effective against creatures with hexproof if you pay the crazy cost. Very cool to see that. So there's a lot of rares actually. Uh, what is that? Uh, Gear Seek Serpent. Another rare Goblin Kaboomist <laughs> M15. One and a red M15. I thought they didn't have those little gold symbols down there for quite a while. I wonder when the first set they did that. It's for um, protection against like copying cards. 
It's a 1 2 creature, the beginning of your upkeep. Put a colorless artifact creature to a token named Landmine onto the battlefield with red sacrifices artifact. Deals 2 damage to target attacking creature with flying. Then flip a coin. If you lose the flip, deals 2 damage to itself. Okay. A little dangerous submerged boneyard, non basic land. What is this? Uh, prophetic prism. Fervent harvest. So Kaladesh, mythics, very cool. Noxious Gear Hulk 4 and 2 black. It's Menace, I remember this card. It's 5 4. When it enters the battlefield, you may destroy another non target another target creature. If creatures destroyed this way, gain life equal to its toughness. So it's pretty cool. It's a 5 4 with menace. It's an artifact creature. And when it comes into play, you get to destroy uh, another creature. That's pretty cool. Mythic. Cool card. And you gain life to that creature's cost. Uh cohort. Is this uh Uncanny Speed. Is this a Kaladesh or Aether Revolt? I think this one's Aether Revolt. Uh, inspiring, inspired Sanctuary. Three mana, non-artifact spells you cast have Improvise. Uh, that's cool. Uh, your artifacts can help ca uh, cast those spells. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. Very cool. That's pretty cool. So you got a card with some sort of dot on it. Let's put that in the broken pile. A random old Yu-Gi-Oh card. Man, when I was a kid, I had some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, their sizing is different, if you can tell right here. I have no idea anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, about what's good or not. I'll set that in the side of random trading card piles. And that was the first pile. This is definitely going to be a longer video. There's a lot to go through here. So I hope you're all just comfy and enjoying yourself a bit. Depth into Deathless. A forest. A, uh, another Phoenix. Love the Phoenix cards because they always recur back from your graveyard. Flying Haste. It's a 4 4. 2 and 3 red. Uh, you pay 4 if you have Metal Craft. Return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate its ability only if you have 3 or more artifacts. That's what Metal Craft is. Okay. Another Plains. A Uncovered Clues. The Illuminist. Look at that. Illuminator. Look at that guy. 1 and a blue. Flying. Whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. It's a 1 3. And he's searching under it, looking for the treasure, and he found it. He doesn't have any arms or anything, unless his arms are the chains. Cool art. This is drawn by Seb McKinnon. Really like his art. No wonder I was drawn to that. I love the style of Seb McKinnon, and I love the style of Ron Spencer. Looks like I got the Sky Summoner. I believe whenever you cast sorceries, oh, instant sorceries, you make some 2-2 blue drake creature tokens. That's a great card, especially in blue. You're going to be playing lots of instants and sorceries. You'll be making a bunch of flying drakes. Great. Really cool. Be cool to make a Drake tribal deck with that or something. A Plains. Random Sleeve. Oh, nice. A nice Torment uh, rare. 2 and 2 green Trample. It has Threshold. Uh, it's a 3-3, three, three, but if you have a Threshold, it gets plus 1, plus 1. It's black and has 2 black tap, destroy target, green creature. That's cool. So if you're going to use this, you probably want to have it in some sort of uh, black green deck. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use the Regenerate. Or, no, you're not going to be able to use the destroy target green creature. Hmm, interesting. So, random rare from Torment. So, getting a whole lot of mix of cards from the history of Magic the Gathering. Absolutely love it. Got an Orzhov Charm. Got Visions of Brutality. Creepy looking art. Got Plummet from Battle for Zendikar. These cards are getting thrown. There's like... Gross. Uh, Siege Modification. This is definitely someone's collection from when they were younger. Blinding Spray. Uh, Elvish Hex Hunter. I like these cards with mixed mana costs. Either pay green or white. It's a 1 1. Either pay green or white. Sacrifice it. Destroy target. Enchantment. Cool. Got Anul. Teljed Archers. Very cool. These piles are going to be pretty big soon, I feel. Inquisitor. Uh, Joint Assault, Mom Kozlik. Well, look at this crazy sleeve. Cool. What's in here? Some sort of uh, uh, Ether Sworn Canonist. One in a white artifact creature. What is this from? Like one of the Master sets. It's a two-two. Each player who has cat who has cast a non-artifact spell this turn can't cast additional non-artifact spells. Each player has cast. Okay, so you can only pay like one spell each turn. This is drawn by Izzy. Crazy looking metallic woman. Very cool. Some sort of master set, I believe. Another master set. Uh, this is one that came out like M19 again. 
Whenever you gain life, you may put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Very cool. These piles, gotta keep them together. So, it looks like someone really opened up these cards for quite a while. Merchant of Meyer, great card. When it enters the battlefield, you may put target creature card from your graveyard onto the top of your library. And it's a land. I mean, that's pretty cool. Ray of Dissolution. Got Slimy Kuva. He's a little bit slimy. Look at the art for that by Randy Galagos. Full of slime. Just got birthed out or something. Two in a red. Target land becomes a swamp till end of turn. Cool. So then the older pile. It's like a rare from Mercadian Max. This might be... No, Ice Age I think is the oldest set so far. Four and two blue flying. It's a 4-3. Uh, pay one into blue. Remove the top card of your library from the game until end of turn. You may play that card as though it were in your hand. That's cool. And it's like a giant uh, seagull. <laughs> An older rare. Stone quarry. Da, 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 charging griffin. There's a whole bunch of stuff right here. Uh, bone splinters. Wink scarred craig. Death frenzy. Just kind of going through these. A random old Pokemon insert. I don't know. Got Wall of Resurgence. A three and a white Defender Flying. At the beginning of your end step, you may gain life equal to the power of target creature control. It's a 1 6. Hmm. That's kind of cool. So you gain life um, at the end of your end step. That's kind of cool. And it's a wall with Defender Flying. It's a 1 6. It's a pretty big wall. So I got some sort of. Uh, the Queen of Fey, I, th I think I've seen this card before. A uh, three, any combination of blue or black flying. It's a legendary creature, five, five. X, black or blue, choose a color. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library for each card that's chosen. Uh, each card of the chosen color exiled this way. Put a one, one blue and black fairy rogue creature token flying onto the battlefield. This would be great for fairy, fairy travel. You pretty much, you'll know the colors of your opponent's deck. You make them exile cards, and if they share the same color, which is the one you say, you make a whole bunch of fairies. That's pretty awesome. That's a great card right there. Got Faithful. Got a random Pokemon card. Printlip. I don't know. Uh, Grim Discovery. Stan Steppy Scavenger. Goblin Piker. <laughs> Fancy Armor. Ew, these cards are gross. Like glue or something. These will go into the pile of no return. Goodbye. Random old Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't know. Put that in the pile here. Got a Thunderscape Apprentice. Very cool. Some of these cards are super clean. Some of them are just super dirty. Got a Null Caller. I don't know what this is. Eagle Claw. Some Yu-Gi-Oh. Some Kamigawa stuff right here. Captive Flame. Two in a red. Tiger Creature gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. That's cool. Reminds me of Get Through War Drum or something like that. Weaver. Canyon Minotaur. Remember that card. Got a Plains. Got Weight of the Underworld. Got a Bandar. Got a Guildgate. Some rare from Nyx, it looks like. Uh, Stessian Tactics. One in a green. It's got Strive. I'm not sure what Strive is. Uh, it costs uh, green more for each target beyond the first until end of turn. Any number of target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains tap. This creature fights another target creature. That's pretty cool. So you can pretty much have a whole battle. That's wild. And they're fighting this giant by Mark Winters. Very cool. Oh, nice. I got some sort of uh, Planeswalker mythic foil from some sort of Planeswalker deck. Very... Very, very shiny feel. Different than feel of some of these foils. Feels very different. This feels a lot smoother. One and two green. Planeswalker and this says a three, three. You can make a plant token. Put a one, one counter on each creature you control. That's pretty impressive. And then gain X life, draw X cards, X is number of lands you control. Cool. And it's only three mana to put out there. Nice. I'll set this aside in the, I guess, that pile. So that is from some sort of Planeswalker deck, I believe. Ballistic Screecher. Repel. This is from another sort of commander deck. Twilight Shepherd, 3 and 3 uh, white. Super crazy. Uh, Flying Vigilance enters the battlefield. Return uh, to your hand all cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. It's got Persist. Great, a great ability. When this creature dies, it has no negative 1, negative 1 counters on it. Return it to the battlefield under its own control with a negative 1, negative 1 counter on it. So it comes back once it dies. Very cool. And what is this? Another card right here. There's like a whole lot of rares. Can't believe it. We got cold eyes.
Got like Cold Eye Seagull, one uh blue two blue and two greens, got Island Walk. Whenever deals combat damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. It's a one one. And yeah, creepy looking face right there. Got clear a path. A nice little old islands from Tempest. Very cool. Nice. They got a, a Legion's rare. Maybe I could get like some sort of slivers or something. Skirk Alarmist one in a red haste. Uh tap. Tar turn target face down creature you control face up at the end of turn sacrifice it that's cool and you can pretty much do that at instant speed that's cool I treat each day as it's your last it's a 1-2 that's cool that's kind of interesting for like morph or something looks like you got a rare uh, you got the skink <laughs> uh, random snake skin random uh, xyn unit I'm not sure oh man there's a whole bunch of cards what is this i see some random oh my gosh this is like a random um i remember making these in like latchkey after school when i was a kid you melt them in like a toaster oven strange <laughs> what is this uh oop, there's some random cards to the side here a random rare uh jeering instigator one in a red it's got morph when it's turned face up you gain control of another target creature until end of turn and tap it, it gains haste on the turn it's a two one and when you morph it up you gain a creature that's cool this is grab Another pile of cards. Man, there's quite a bit. And they're just literally spewing through here. Some of these just got beaten. Oh, that's a shame. It's a rare from uh, Odyssey. Just got beaten up. Wayward Angel. Four and two white. Flying. Attacking uh, doesn't cause it to tap. Threshold gets plus three plus three. Black and his trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Poor card right there from Odyssey. One of my favorite sets too. Just beat, beat up. That's a shame. That's that's what that's what happens with these. You never know. Alter's light. Look at these cool card sleeves, though. <laughs> Random morph token. Actually, the token. Yeah, whatever. What is this? You got Pyrex of Pandemonium. One mana. Uh, tap each player X as the top card of his or her library face down. Seven tap. Sacrifice it. Each player turns face up all cards he or she owns exiled with it. Then puts all permanent cards among them onto the battlefield. That's some pretty fun stuff right there. You just gotta, you and your opponent, get, or whoever you're playing with, gotta put them all in the battlefield. Got a Craw Worm. Got a Dark Favor. Uh, what is this, Miracle? Yeah, Miracle cards have the interesting borders. Revenge of the Haunted. Four and two blue, um, two green sorcery until end of turn. Target creature gets plus six, plus six, and gain trample till end of turn. All creatures able to block it do so. And it has a Miracle cost for one green. That's pretty cool. Miracle's an interesting ability. Got a mountain. I'll just set those there. Got open the armory. Grim Guardian. I like the borders of the Journey to Next cards. Very constellation-y feeling. I like that. What is this? Uh, Ravnica. Bottled Cloister. Uh, four mana. Artifact. The beginning of uh, each opponent's upkeep. Remove your hand from the game face down. The beginning of your upkeep. Return all cards removed from the game uh, with bottle closer to your hand, then draw a card. Okay, interesting. Interesting ability. Could protect your hand or something. Ember Beast. You got the Shrine of Nyx. Add one mana. Two tap. Change. Choose a color. Add to your mana pool an amount of mana equal to the devotion to that color. There's the new set of Nyx coming out. I bet this card is going to make a comeback. Got... Looming Spires, is there two of them in here? And then Thirtle, Fertile Thicket, nice multi lands. Random old Chimeric Mass, man, there's a whole lot of cards. What is this? A random dual deck box, Zendikar Veils Eldrazi, that will go in the pile of goodbye. Chimeric Mass, X Man, it's an artifact. Uh, enters the battlefield, X charge counters on it. One until end of turn, becomes a construct artifact creature with this creature's pound tough, so equal to the number of charge counters on it. That's cool. So you can turn into a creature. Gluttonous Cyclops. Got Karmic Guide. I, I think I know this card. Uh, three and two white. It's a two two. Uh, flying protection for black and it's echo cost. So that means that your next upkeep you got to pay its echo cost. Otherwise, sacrifice it. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature card from a graveyard to your battlefield. That's the ability. I feel like there's a lot of interaction you can do with that. You can flash it back from your graveyard and then return another creature with it. Very cool. Great card as well. The Ox. Some sort of uh, spontaneous artist. 
Okay. Uh, ridge scale tusker. Looks like a pangolin. Very cool. Shout out to pangolins. Let's see what this is. Some of this like random piece of wood. That's kind of nasty. I've got a worm. Random card sleeve. Uh, spring. Got uh, a multi land. Uh, the life gaining lands. Got yeah, that chant. Ooh, would you look at that? This is some Urza's uh, Destiny, Yavamaya Hollow. That's pretty cool. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Green tap, regenerate target creature. This is a pretty good card, actually. A little bit of something on it. Bet it can clean it off. That's really cool. I didn't expect to see anything like this in here. That's awesome. Um, that's a that's a good one. This is just becoming a really nice little collection here. Got Stone Shock, a giant. Nice little foil. This is from actually the uh premium series uh yeah i actually opened that up on the channel the lightning premium series very cool all the the whole foil deck very cool random uh breeze caller random uh drillber pokemon card set that over there demir guildgate the guildgate cards center soul just a whole lot going on wrangle raid the gate Oh, nice. Some uh, Stronghold stuff. Sky Shroud, Outer. One green's an elf. It's a 1-1. One, one. Tap target creature with flying. It's negative 1, negative 1 till end of turn. Okay, so cool. Not really sure. Um, I'll set that there. This one's a little bit beat up. Unnatural Aggression. Something from Channel Fireball. I guess they wanted to make cards of their employees. I'll set that in the land pile. Not really sure if that's anything. Uh, the Raptor, Siren, Ooh, Cold Snap, one white, can move upkeep one, it's a one two, tap, uh, deals damage to target attacking blocking creature, equal to the number of age counters on the javelin layer, that's pretty cool. What is this, uh, Plummet, destroy creature flying, some stronghold card, tidal surge, one and a blue, tap up to, uh, three target creatures without flying, it's a sorcery speed, very cool, set that up there. I'll just set these here. Yeah. What is this? Uh, Shield of Duty Reason. Protection from green and blue. Random Yu-Gi-Oh card. Looks like a multicolor one. Not really sure. There's a whole lot of stuff here. Uh, Marin uh, Crusader. One and two white. Double strike protection from black and from green. It's a 2-2 two -two with double strike. And protection from black and green. That's pretty nice. A Plains. A... Disciple of the Old Ways. Random old Nemesis card. Um, Stormful Egotist. Uh, Berserker. We're getting through it. Mind Rot, like that card. Rubble Melted Maka. A Nidoran. This one kind of reminds me when I was younger a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Mass Appeal. Got Kuva Climber. Kuva is very cool because they make a Kuva deck. Random uh, Fossil Excavation Kit. I really don't know much about Magic uh, Pokemon cards, so yeah, bear with me. Some multicolor card from Invasion. Love the old multicolor borders. Two, a red and a green. First strike. When it deals combat damage to a player, destroy atomic damage to a creature, destroy that creature. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Pretty much has Death Touch. Interesting. A red and a green card with Death Touch. You don't see that too much. Random Goblin. Got the Passage, Clan Ogre. I'm not sure if all these like red sleeves were once a deck one day. Probably. Inquisitor. Some of these are a little bit bent. Duress. Wow, I've never seen the art for Duress. Cool. Call of Nightwing. What is this? A rare from New Pyrexia or something? Or Morden Besieged? I think Morden Besieged. Creeping Corrosion. Corrosion, 2 and 2 green, destroy all artifacts. Very cool. It's like a rare from um, some sort of commander set. Sword of Prowness, 4 mana. It's an artifact equipment, giant sword held in the sky by Greg Hildebrandt. As long as equipped creature is tapped, target ta creatures you control get plus 2, plus 0. As long as equipped creature is untapped, uh, creatures you control get plus 0, plus 2. That's cool. You can tap and untap the creature it's on. Equip cost is three. You can untap that creature for three or tap it to either give your creatures uh, uh, power when attacking or toughness when blocking or both. You can attack with it 
And then if you decide you need your creatures to have more tough to survive the attack, you can untap it. Very cool. Very versatile. That's a cool card. Devouring Greed. Random rare from uh, Rivals of Ixalan or something like that. The Dinosaurs. 3 and 3 red. 6-6. Six, six. Enters the battlefield. You have 3 damage to target uh, opponent and 3 damage up to 1 target creature. Hmm. Okay. Uh, da, da. Flare Husk. Solitary Ascendancy. Black, a green, and a blue. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top two cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest in the back in the top of your library in any order. Okay. Kind of get a scry a bit. What is this? Uh, automation. Some sort of Hellkite Igniter. 5 and 2 red flying haste. It's a 5-5, five, five, and it gets plus X plus 0, where X is the number of artifacts you control. Okay, so you definitely want some artifact deck. Singe Worm. Some card with a miracle, it looks like. Got Merc Fiend Liege. Two, any combination of three green or three blue. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's cool. It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's a horror. Untap all green or blue creatures you control during each other player's untap step. Nice. Look at that crazy looking thing. It's like a toad guy by Carl Critchelou. Very cool. Getting a huge pile of rares, actually. Emissary, the Warden. Some uh, Legion stuff, one in a green, uh, one in a white, <laughs> seven in a white, gain five life. It's a one three. Cleric Mutant shooting his laser eyes by uh, Glenn Angus. Crazy shooting his laser eyes. This one's a little bit beat up. Go in the pile. There's this Ivory Giant, Charging Griffin. You, it's gross. Some old. Homelands or some. There's like some gunk. I'm gonna set those over there. Uh, the Penumbra Kuva, the Kuva, Terramorphic Expanse, Implant. What is this? Uh, Rites of Flourishing. Beautiful card. Love the green and uh, red. Looks like some sort of vortex. Two and a green at the beginning of each player's uh, draw step. That player draws an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of his or her turns. That's cool. So everyone just gets a nice little boost on the board. Very cool. Doesn't just help you. It helps everybody. Random, um, what is this? Uh, card from uh, Alliances. Flying first strike. Pay two white plus two till end of turn. Uh, can't spend more than two. It's a one one flying. Aethosaur. Very cool. A foil rare from uh, some sort of master set. Siege gang commander. That's cool. Three and two red. So two two. Enters the battlefield, put three woman red goblin creature tokens on the battlefield. Sacrifice a goblin, deals two damage to target creature player. That's a pretty cool card. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Put that in the foil rare pile, I guess. The heroes, a little bit of gunk on that card. I'll set that in there. A doo doo. Doo doo. Oh wow, some, um, what is this? Prophecy. Caress. Sage Owl. Got Molten. Um. Disaster X in two red. It's got a kicker cost for a red. If it was kicked, it has split second. Split second is uh, as long as the spell is on the stack, players can't uh, cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. That's cool. Deals X damage to each creature without flying and each player. Beast. Would you look at this? An old revised card. It's Fireball Revised. Random to see a revised card in here. This is honestly uh, becoming quite... A nice little collection. I'm finding cards throughout the history of Magic the Gathering. This card isn't too beat up as opposed to some that are newer and just torn torn up. Got the Undying Partisan. Two and a black legendary creature, Aetherborn Vampire. It's got haste. Whenever an opponent whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a one one counter on it, sacrifice another creature, gains indestructible and of turn. It's a two two that you can kinda of save with the sacrifice. Got Dungeon Shade flying, you can pump it up. Creepy looking art by Jason Alexander Bankley. Okay. Scab. Uh, pretty good condition. Grizzly bears from Revised. <laughs> so bizarre to see some of these random Pokemon stuff. Not really sure. Not really sure what this is. Uh, a random old receipt that looks so old it is faded from 2017. I have no idea the story behind these cards, but I have them now. Curse of Death's Hold, 3 and 2 black, enchant player, creatures enchanted player control, get negative 1, negative 1, 
pretty much wipe the board out of goblin tokens or something like that against your opponent. Very cool. Get the parprit. Spell blast. Nice little foil. Love the foil right there. Tribal instant fairy. That's awesome. One black target creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. If you control a fairy, draw a card. I love tribal instants or tribe tribal spells. Very cool. Is it clue stone? Got a staff right there. This is Amonkhet stuff. Trial of knowledge. First response. Nice that one. Looks like I got myself a flip card. Daybreak Ranger. And he flips into Night Veil vale Predator. And you can make him fight a creature. Very cool. Like flip cards a lot. Got Skybring Staff. Sylvan Bounty. A Trico. Looks like a gecko with a strange squirrel tail. A goblin. A bulwark Giant. Looks like these ones are a bit stuck together. Of course, they were stuck together on a little mythic card. Herald of Anguish. Like junk on there. There we go. Uh, breath. And there's still a bit to go, actually, so just bear with me. There's a bit to go. And here we keep on going. There's quite a bit to go. I might have to pause the video and charge my camera, to be honest. Got Planar Cleansing, 3 and 3 white, destroy on online permanents. Great little board wipe card right there. Got some sort of scrapper. Got some sort of war. War guy. Interesting double cards in there. Some of these sleeves are just beat up. I've had sleeves like this before. Magic the Gathering back sleeve. Very cool. A card from uh, Battle for Zendikar, I believe. A Munda ambush leader. Two, a red and a white. Haste. It's got rally. It's a 3 4. Very cool. Bastion Inventor. Blazing Torch. Uh, Equip creature can't be blocked by vampires or zombies. The flame scares them. Equip creature has tap, sacrifice it. Deals two damage to target creature or player. That's a pretty cool card. That's pretty cool. I like how it deals something with vampires and zombies. Very flavorful, I would say. Got the backwaters card. Taste of blood. Random Yu-Gi-Oh card. The warrior returning alive. Uh, longs legs. Nice, I got myself a Lotus Blossom. It's got Suspend 3. You can pay it for 0. And you sacrifice it at 3 uh, mana of any color to mana pool. It's like Black Lotus, but you got to wait 3 turns. Magician. The Army card. Wandering Champion. Wandering Champion. Again, what is this? A nice little forest from Kaladesh. Uh, ignition team five and two red enters the battlefield. X one one contra land where X is the number of tapped lands on the battlefield. Uh, two in red remove a one one contra from ignition team. Target land becomes a four four red elemental creature token till end of turn. So we can make some elemental tokens. Very cool. Got slime. Got a wandering tome shell. Plains. Random ninth edition rare. Bloodfire colossus six and two red. Uh, Giants is 6-6. Six, six. You sacrifice it. It deals 6 damage to each creature and each player. With a little bit of thing on it. Interesting. Some 9th edition stuff right there. So I'm just finding a whole lot of stuff, honestly. Twisted Image. A random old revised fear. Not too bad. Got the Fortress Crab. Air Elemental. I feel like my fingers are a little bit dirty from these sleeves. That's kind of gross. Uh, champion. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get online, to be honest. There's, like, something there. This will go in the pile of no. Voyager staff again. Random tome pile. Not sure. Confront the unknown. Judgment card. Tugger creature gets plus one, plus zero. And gains first strike till the turn. And draw a card. A island. Angel's mercy. A rune wing. Diabolic Servitude. That's a pretty cool card, actually. I'll set this. I'll set that here. Cosmog. Not really sure. Another Kuva. Oh, no. It's Fertile Ground. I thought it was a Kuva. 
Here we go. Mercady Mask, Groundskeeper to Druid. Island, Havoc Sour, Cinder Elemental. Got Cabal Shrine. That's cool. A rare from Odyssey. Uh, one and two black. Whenever a player plays a spell, each player discards X card from his or her hand, where X is the number of cards in all graveyards with the same name as that spell. Prevents someone from playing multiple spells, well, or makes him not want to. A wild dog's got Urza Saga. Very cool. The Yu-Gi-Oh card. A forest. A revised fog that's in really good condition. Very strange. Some of these cards are just beat up, and some of them aren't. Podvide. And a bit to go. And on to the next little pile. There's still a bunch more to go, to be honest. So <laughs> this is definitely a longer video. Oh, this is a great card, actually. Staff of Domination. Three mana. It's an artifact, and it has a whole lot going on. You can pay one, untap it. Pay two, tap, gain a life. Pay three, tap, tap, untap target creature. Pay four, tap, tap target creature. Pay five, tap, draw a card. A little bit beat up, but this is a great card from Fifth Dawn. Got a wow, there's just a lot. This just keeps going on and on. Uh, Starstorm X into red, a rare from on, uh, Onslaught, I believe. Uh, deals X damage to each creature, cycling for three. Okay, so it's got cycling too. A Mirage card, very cool. Love the art. Richard Kane Ferguson, always love her art. Grave Crawler, this is a great zombie card. Uh, well, I forgot what set this is. One black, it's a 2 1. Can't block, you may cast it from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. So this thing just won't quit. Because you're definitely going to put in a zombie tribal deck. Another rare right here. The Luminar. Two uh, blue and a red. Whenever you play a blue spell, target creature gains flying until end turn. Whenever you play a red spell, deals one damage to each creature without flying. It's a 3 3. Very cool. Very cool. Got this. What is this? A random Gears of. <laughs> A random Gears of War book. This is just a random thing. I can't really believe it. The pamphlet for the original Gears of War. Okay. <laughs> Strange. This card's a bit beat up. Uh, da -da. Some Peel from Reality. Nyxborn Shield Mage. Uh, reality. Rapid. Right. Okay. Got Magic Carp times 10. Not really sure. Goblin, Flare Slinger, got a mountain. I'm going to set this pile of commons over here. And we're going to go on to the next pile of commons. Quite a big pile of rares, though. Oh, nice. I got a Thought Seize. I don't have any Thought Seizes. I actually wanted, I always wanted to get some of these. This is a great discard card. Sorcery. One black. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards a card and you lose two life. That's a great card, to be honest. That's a great card. War Behemoth. I'm just finding things that I'm... This is a great collection. Even though it's a bit dirty, to be honest. And the sleeves... Like, some of the sleeves just feel dirty. And my fingers feel a little dirty, too. There's still some great cards in here. Jagged Lightning. Definitely just gonna wash my hands and try to clean off some of these cards. And I'll throw away the ones that are just completely junk. The, the, the War Cleric. Sphinx of Jar Isle. Good card. I think I opened that up in that booster pack the other day. Ugin's Construct. Dirty card sleeves. Nidorino. Jar Isle Refuge. Very cool. Icar Explosion. Split card. Profit Loss. Stair Wayfinders. A little bit of something on that card. Containment Membrane. Got some random old uh, alliances, noble steed in the forest right there. My Ruka Gwai, beautiful art, random token. What is this? Nightscape Apprentice, very cool from Invasion, I believe. Eldrazi Immobilizer, some weather light. Look at that. Yeah, brigade three and a white. You block up to two creatures each. Comments at two four. Very cool. Weather light. Just finding cards from everything. Alabaster Elite. Uh, Battlefront Crewshock. Bathe in Dragonfire. Nixus Aeldeon. Beautiful Fog. Boros Charm. Here we go. 
fall of the pines. Like these sleeves are just, these red sleeves are dirty. That's where the dirt's coming from. Four and a green. Summon dries at two five. And you put a, give it plus one, till in, plus zero till unfair from Ice Age. Skeleton. Got the pet, the zombie ape. Yep, it's a zombie ape. Got crush. Manta ray. Yep, it's a manta ray. It's got island home, so if you don't have an island, you destroy it. It can't be blocked up by blue creatures. It's a 3-3 three, three. summon fish from Weatherlight. Very cool. And got battle him. A treacherous pit dweller. Two black. It's a creature demon. It's a 4-3 for two. Okay. Enters the battlefield from a graveyard. Target opponent gains control of it. Okay. When it enters the battlefield from a graveyard. Okay. So it has undying. So once it dies, your opponent gains control of it. There, that's the downfall. Got Spirit Mantle. This is a, a actually pretty good uncommon. And Chant Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has protection from creatures. Very cool. A random Marlboro. Gross. Charmeleon. What do we got here? Some more stuff. Another receipt. Man, this is a strange collection. Grave Exchange. Uh, Pain Seer, one and a black. It's a 2 2. Be the top card of your library. Put the card in your hand, you lose like equal to its mana cost. Okay. You got Avian Psychic Intuition or Intrusion. Uh, Crackdown Construct. Shipwreck Singer. Just a whole lot. There's just a lot going on right here. Stone Right Reckless Imp. Magus of the arena, four and two red. Human Wizards is a five five. Three tap target creature uh, you control and target creature and opponent controls a choice. Uh, they fight each other. Okay, so you can make them fight each other a bit. You got a random foil. Swords of revealing light. Nice. Okay, so I got myself a foil from uh, Cold Snap. Uh, Glorazor Plague Queen, four, a blue, a black, and a red. Flying Haste from Cold Snap. It's a rare. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Whenever a creature deals damage by is uh, this turn's put to a graveyard, put a 1-1 counter on it because it's a vampire. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Very cool. Four rare. Got Eldrazi. A centaur. A swamp. A turtle. A random Colossodon. Banisher, Massive Raid, got a Serpent, Ember Augur, Copper Carpace, Battling Cravis, Livewire Lash, it's, uh, two mana artifact equipment equipped for two, gets plus two plus uh, zero and has haste. Oh no, it has whenever this creature becomes target of spell, deals two damage to target creature player. Okay, cool. Another foil uh, Warpath Ghoul. Got Nagging Thoughts. Motorist uh, Chimchar. Not really sure. Got Pithing Needle. This is a great card. One mana. Enters the battlefield. Name a card. Activated abilities of source with chosen name. Can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. So prevent a card from being from working pretty much. Thunder Strike. Illusionary Terrain. Beautiful Snow Mountains. Morgue Burst. Magnetic Flux. There's just a whole lot of stuff right here. Reverse Engineer. Got a Gilb. Not sure. Exodus card, Reckless Ogre. Controlled Instincts. That card feels gross. It's these red sleeves. They're the dirtiest ones. Whatever they were, they're gross. Uh, Javneliers. Nidoran. Vault Breaker got a bit of a bend to it. It'll go in the pile of no return. And we still got quite a bit to go. Maybe about two thirds of the way done. Dwarven Landslide, random token. Expose Evil. Nice little thing. Got Champion of Lambolt. One and two green. Human War. Creatures of power less than Champion of Lambolt. Can't be blocked. Can't block uh, creatures you control. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, put a 1 1 counter on it. Okay, cool. Nice little planes. I think these were someone's decks back in the day. Got Wake of Vultures. I always like the art on this one. Got Blood. Liberant. This. Flame Lash. Random token. And an Air Servant. 
All right, and I'm back. I had to change my battery real quick, and now we're gonna finish the rest of the box. There's still quite a few piles left, but I'm excited to see what we get. Got Wake the Reflection, Arrow Volley Trap. Some of these cards definitely have some stuff on them though. Centaur Warrior or Veteran. Like this is like a old candy. That's gross. <laughs> got Augury Adept. It's got nasty stuff on it. I'll set that in the pile of no keep. <laughs> Explosive Apparatus. What is this one? Uh, this Scrab Striped. One, a black and a green. Each creature card in a graveyard has Scavenge. The Scavenge cost is equal to its mana cost. And Scavenge is uh, extra dollar creature card from your graveyard. Pay its mana cost. Put a number of 1-1 creatures. Counters equal to that card's power on target creature. That's cool. And Sacrifice another creature. Regenerate it. That's cool. So you can keep it alive by sacrificing your creature. Then Scavenge that creature. Treacherous Blood. Random Pokemon card. Not really sure. Automation. A beat up card right here. Some of these cards are just, it's sad. Some of the state of them. Random old card from uh, Chronicles. Very cool to see that. A foil number C39 Utopia Ray. No idea if this means anything. What is this? Uh, area Responder. Got Homerid. The Crab People from uh, Fallen Empire. <laughs> This uh, got a champion, got Flindhorn Bowl from Ice Age, a Geist card, the Frame Blade. What is this? Uh, Glade Heart Cavalry, 5 and 2 green. And his battlefield support 6. Whenever a creature control with a 1 1 counter and it dies, gain 2 life. It's 6 6. So kind of expensive. Big creature. Got a Shaman card. Very cool. 2 and a red's a 3 1. Uh, pay one in a red, discard it. Target uh, attacking creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. Whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player. Uh, if it's in your graveyard, pay three. If you do, return it uh, to your hand. So it kind of can recur. That's awesome. Got Siege Rhino. I remember this card. It's a four mana, four five with trample. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses three life and you gain three life. That's cool. And each opponent. So if you have multiple opponents, they still get triggered multiple times. Planes. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's just a lot of cards to kind of go through. A random uh, Horde Chief. A Swamp. Got Cockatrice card. Got Wandering Champion. Uh, Peerless Predicament. Searing Light. A random one of these again, Channel Fireball Employee or something. I'm not really sure what that is or who that is or why he has that creepy grin on his face. What is this? A foil from uh, Kamigawa. It's got Bushido. Very cool. like the art on it. A random card from a different language. This is like Fog Wall or something. I'll set this in this up top. Interesting. Even a foreign card. Got Coral Reef. Love the art there. Got like a Hammerhead Shark. Got the reef, you got a turtle, you got a bird, you got the waves, you got a puffer fish, or some sort of grouper or something. Love it. Got corpse traders. What is this? This is a glory scale Vashino. Got a giant card. The tomb shell. What is this, another one of these cards? I don't even know what this is. Elvish, Elsh V? Strange. Not really sure if that means anything. If you know what those are, let me know. Got a Soul Eater card. Rebuff. Bitter. A random revised The Hive. Very cool. Five mana. You pay five tap. You create a giant wasp token. There you go. <laughs> you make some wasps. Very cool. So a nice little revised card. A nice little multi flip card right there. Werewolf one. This is a multi card. Far and away. Just kind of trying to... Here we go. Got Pacifism, two of those. M14 and 10th edition. Uh, got Faded Return, four and three black, instant speed. Put target creature card from a graveyard, from a graveyard, onto the battlefield under control. Gains indestructibility. If it's your turn, scry two. That's cool. So you bring it from any graveyard to the battlefield. It's indestructible. And if it's your turn, you scry two. And this is instant speed. That's pretty wild. Got the Medic. 
Got a Copper Carpace. A Island Psychic Strike Foil. Very cool. What is this? Mimic Slime, four in the green. When it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, uh, put two green green ooze creature tokens onto the battlefield. They have, when this creature is put into a graveyard, put two a one one green ooze creature tokens on the battlefield. So when this dies, it creates two. When those do die, they create two more. That's kind of cool. Fun card. And ooze. Got sleep. Got boon stire. One and two green. It's got flash and bestow. It's a 4-2, and you can bestow it on a creature for its enchantment. It's a plus four, plus two. That's really cool. So these are the enchantment kind of creatures that they have. Got the Jin card from 9th edition. Four and two blue. It's a 5-6 with flying. Beast of a card. Random Pokemon card. Bag Bagu. Wandering Champion. There's just so many cards to go through. It's crazy. What is this? Uh... Decimator web, 4 mana, it's an artifact, 4 tap, target opponent loses 2 life, gets a poison counter, then puts the top 6 cards of his or her uh, library into his or her graveyard. <laughs> and a poison counter, pretty wild. What is this one? This is a Graveblade Martyrer, looks like a pirate, it's got death touch, it's a 1-4. When it deals combat damage to your player, that player loses a life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. That's powerful. Random Highlands card. These red sleeves are dirty. Got Lose Hope. Got Troll. Got Reinforcements from Alliances. Put up the three target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library in any order. Very cool. Instant speed. I like it. And we're on to the next pile. Hopefully a couple more grabs and then... We'll just keep going from here. Got Plague Witch. Really cool card. like the art on it. Got Chain to the Rocks from Theros. Enchant on a mountain you control. And you can exile target creature and opponent controls to Chain to the Rocks. Obviously it has to be on a mountain. Which is uh, an interesting ability. But cool. Got Mana Barbs. Interesting. I didn't know they reprinted this in M12. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, deals one damage to that player. It's three and a red. Enchantment. That hurts you if you use your mana. Got uh, that one. Oh, this is a really good card, actually. Rings of uh, uh, Bright Earth, three mana artifact. Uh, whenever you play an activation ability, if it isn't a mana ability, you may pay two. If you do, copy it. You may choose a new target for the copy. That's a really great card, actually. That's awesome. What do we got here? Corpse Hauler. Got Trench Worm. Very cool. A card from Tempest. There's quite a bit of rares, actually. I really like this. Never know what you're going to get. Dethu Horror. It's got Shadow. Can't be blocked by white creatures. Got Tranquil Cove. I can open this up. Nice little multi-land. A little skin brand goblin. Got Glagori Charm. Very cool. Another Exodus card. Reckless Ogre. They like Exodus, I'll put this up here. The older sets. Vanquish the Foul, destroy target creature with power 4 or greater, and you scry 1. Theros cards, making a comeback. Or Journey to the Nyx, I mean, Island. Righteous Charge. What do we got here? Blinding Soul Eater, and amass the components. Carrying all that stuff. Another a rare from, uh, I don't know. Not sure what language that is, Japanese, Korean, or Korean, or Chinese, not sure. Got Vizzledrix, 7th edition rare. Got Woolly Mammoth, the Woolly Mammoth from Ice Age. Greens trample as long as you control any snow-covered lands. Dan Fraser, it's a 3-2 for a 1 and 2 green. That can get trample if you have snow-covered. Got Whip of Erebos, great card, 2 and 2 black. Creatures control of lifelink, it's cool to give creature lifelink and pay two and two black tap return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield it gains haste exile at the beginning of your next end step if it would leave the battlefield exile instead of putting it as anywhere else activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery really cool nice to have a passive ability on the board that you can just use uh, whenever you want to return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield love it got ring flash creepy card 
Got these leveling cards. I always thought these were interesting. Reminds me of Planeswalkers a bit. One blue. You can level it up by paying three. Next turn, it can be a 2-2 two, two with flying. And then after three turns, it can be a 4-2 with flying. Very cool when you can get on the bathroom for one mana. Interesting card. A island. What is this? Got Mana Force Mace. Sneaky Homunculus. Wow, I didn't know that they had homunculuses back then. An old uh, land. The Hideaway. Spine Rock Null Hideaway. Add red to your mana pool. Red tap. You may play a remove card without paying its mana cost if an opponent was dealt 7 or more damage this turn. Cool. A random Amazon <laughs> receipt. There's so much random stuff in here. It's kind of crazy. A random Pokemon card. Mystery of the Sleepless. Heart Piercer. Illusionist. A swamp. This is one of the unsets, the newer ones. Again, the Silver Border. A Magikarp. Pokemon. Got a Windstorm. Random Pink Sleeve. Uh, Fanatic, Fanatic of Mogus. Wandering Champion. Nice little rare from... Um, Legions, three black mana, it's got Amplify 1, so when it comes into play, put a 1-1 Contra on it for each zombie card you reveal in your hand, great for tribal. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it's in your graveyard, pay 3, if you do, return it to your hand, that's cool. Edward Peabody Jr., rare from Legions. Uh, the turn. Again, another one of these, I'm not really sure what the deal is with this. Some sort of staff member or something. Maybe they won some sort of tournament. Another foreign card. This is Sarah Angel, I believe, from the art. The Urin. Got Envoy. Got a Pyromant. Pyroconvergence. Deathmark. Air Elemental. Random old uh, card from Mirage. Elixir of Vitality. Four mana. Comes into play. Tap, tap. Sacrifice it, gain 4 life. 8 tap, sacrifice it, gain 8 life. Wow, you gotta pay 8 mana to gain 8 life. That's crazy. Gibble. Pokemon card. Keeper of the Lens. He's got the ball. Some sort of Chimchar Pokemon. He's got Martyrdom. Some alliances. Looks like these cards are stuck together a bit. Stone Shock Giant. Villainous Wealth X, a black and a green and a blue. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-line cards with cover mana cast extra less from among them without paying their mana cost. So some card removal and also some way to cast them. Very cool. A little bit of stuff on that card. I feel like it needs to be cleaned off. Some of these cards definitely have like chocolate or something on them. You got Mage's Contest, a 1 and 2 red. You and Target Spells Controller bid life. You starting the bid with high bid of 1. In turn order, each player may top the highest bid. The bidding ends when the highest bid stands. The highest bidder loses life equal to the highest bid. And you win uh, the bidding counter that spell. So it's like a red counter spell where you bid each other's life. <laughs> Very interesting. What is this got? Uh, Exterpate. One black split second. Choose target card in a graveyard other than basic land card. Search its owner's graveyard hand and library for all cards with the same name. As that card, exile them and shuffle that player's uh, his or her library. Wow, that's powerful. And it's instant speed with split second, that's powerful. Got Ballistic Guards. Inbringer, I think I had that one earlier. Crew Fatality. Uh... Domestication looks like she's controlling the goblin. Two and two blue. Enchant creature. You control enchant creature. The beginning of your end step. If enchant creature's power is four or greater, sacrifice it. Sacrifice the enchantment. Sheila's artistry. What do you got? Angelic gift. Got. There we go. The game warden. Zenith seeker. Looks like an Egyptian god. That's gross. These will just go into the pile of no return. Got Rage Monger, Vivid Growth, the Charge Counter Lands, a Wall of Blossoms, Smite the Monstrous, a nice little mountain. A whole bunch of stuff right here. Another Siege Gang Commander had one of these, actually a foil one. So it's cool to see another version. 
from M10. Looks like I got Heart of Kirin, two mana legendary artifact vehicle, uh, Flying Vigilance Q3. It's a 4 4. You may remove a loyalty counter from Planeswalker control rather than play its crew cost. Very cool. So, an alternate way to use it. Yeah, there's definitely some chocolate on that. It's kind of gross. Got some Homelands card. Folk of Anhaven. Necrobite. Wandering Champion. Got Fall of Titans. X, X, uh, red. Sword, Surge, X and a red. Fall of Titans deals X damage to each buff of two target creatures or players. <laughs> cool. And we're still going at it. Grabbing another pile from the box. It's mostly the sleeves that are just gross. A random little leaf. <laughs> I don't even know. This was probably stored in a garage or something. Uh, Steppy Glider. Magus of... What is this? A, a Tabernacle. Three and a white. All creatures have the ability to upkeep. Sacrifice this creature unless you pay one. So it gives creatures a community of upkeep. That's pretty powerful. That's really powerful, actually. What is this? Uh, blind Obedience. One in a white. Extort. Artifact creatures your opponent controls. Enters the battlefield. Tapped. <laughs> Staff. Um, Gigantiform. Three and two green. Uh, kicker. Enchanted creature is 8-8 eight, eight and has trample. Enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, you search your library for a card named Gigantiform. Put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So you can pretty much bring two if you kick it. Uh, Cleaver Riot. Riptide Chimera. Some Yu-Gi-Oh card. Got Butcher of Malakir. Five and two uh, black flying. Whenever it attack, another creature you control dies. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Five, four. And wow, that's pretty powerful. When it attacks, you gotta... Um, oh no, whenever a creature dies, the opponent has a sacrifice one. So it's like kind of like a grave... What is that? Random piece of paper. Very strange. There's just a whole bunch of junk in here, some of it. What is this? What in the world? This is a bus card? That's crazy. What a strange thing. Um, some sort of uh, Nicol Bolas card looking like. Stern Mentor. Uh, Essence Flux. This is becoming quite a strange collection. I'm finding all sorts of little pieces of paper. Dismiss. Very bizarre. Some of the cards are definitely beat up and nasty and will just be thrown away. But some of them are perfectly fine. Cursed Monstrosity, four and a black flying. It has flying. Look at that. It's like a naked mole rat with bat wings. Run away. It's an, um, uh, run away. <laughs> four, three. Uh, Cursed Monstrosity becomes target of spell or ability. Sacrifice it unless you discard a land card from your hand. <laughs> Crazy card. like the art. Who drew this one, by the way? By Jeff uh, Rammer. We got some random torment card, sonic seizures. We got a guard card, a little bit of stuff on it. What is this? There's just like a whole lot of stuff in here. Chain to the rocks again. Feast of the unicorn. You got the trident, uh, legendary art enchantment artifact. Whenever a creature control does come damage your player, draw a card. And one of the blue creatures your opponent controls attack this turn if able. That's powerful. You can make your opponent attack, and you can get some card draw from it. Opaline Unicorn. What we got going on? Just a whole lot going on. Ether Inspector. Prey Upon. Random card. Thopter Assembly. I believe it comes into the battlefield. Uh, if you control no Thopters, other than it, return it to its hand and put five colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens into the battlefield. So it can make a whole bunch of Thopters. Very cool. Got, uh, what is this? Uh, Mendering Tower Shell. Three and two green. Creature Turtle Island Walk. When attacks, exile it, return to the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking at the beginning of the next declared attacking step on your next turn. 5 9, but you attack with it, then it has to go away, then it will attack next turn. Very bizarre. What is this? Uh, uh, Rubble Belt Riders. 1 in any combination of 3 or red or green. When it attacks, put a 1 1 counter on it for each attacking creature control. Okay, so it gets bigger the strong the more creatures you have attacking. What is this? Uh Contest Cliffs. One add one colors to mana pool. Uh, red and green. Tap choose target B to control and target creature and opponent controls. Each creature deals damage equal to the power to uh the other. 
Powerful land. If you have a beast tribal deck, definitely. Uh, flood type serpent. A random <laughs> whole bunch of block of text right here. Four in a red. What in the world? When Spark Fiend comes into play, roll two six added dice on a total uh, two, three, or twelve. Sacrifice it. On a total of seven or eleven, do not roll dice for Spark Fiend during any of your falling upkeep phases. If you roll uh, other totals, note it. Okay, so you roll. If you get two, three, or twelve, it dies. If you get seven or eleven, it's safe. During your upkeep, roll a two sided dice. On a total of seven, sacrifice it. If you roll uh, the note of total, do not roll. Okay, so pretty much. You have to roll to keep it alive, and if you roll the wrong number, it dies. <laughs> Look at that crazy wall of text and tiny little face. Pete Ventures. That's fun. Scythe Leopard. This is becoming a very interesting collection right here. Exiled Bogart. He looks super sad and frowny. Blessing card right there. Ooh, look at this. Leviathan. This is from like a starter set. Five and four blue. Trample. Uh, comes into play tapped and doesn't untap during your untap steps at 10 10 though at the beginning of your upkeep you may sacrifice two islands if you do untap it can't attack unless you sacrifice two islands so you have to pretty much get rid of all your lands to use this thing by mark tendon how beast is that that's crazy uh, random human pegasus token okay random caterpie remember that card from when i was younger fateful showdown two and two red uh, deals damage to target creature player. Each with a number of cards in your hand. Discard our cards in your hand, then draw that many cards. Hmm. Got what is this? Semiot healer? No, Semiot alchemist or something. Okay. Look at this. Got some snapping Narlin. Got summoner. These piles are getting pretty big over here. Some Ravnica stuff right here. Uh, Restless dreams. Torment. Another. Uh, Mythic Warden of the First Tree, one green he, creature human is a 1 1, and you pay one white or black, becomes a tree, 3 3. Pay two uh, white or any combination of two white or black, uh, becomes a human, so it has like leveling up. Okay, and then if you pay three and any combination of three white or three black, uh, it's a spirit, put 5 one, one counters on it. So this thing can just get bigger and bigger. But you got to have it either in a white deck or a black deck as well. But it's very strange. Got Deep Fathom Sulker, 5 in a blue, Devoid. Whenever a creature control deals combat damage to your player, draw a card. Okay. Their gate, what is this one? Got Upheaval. Return all permanents to their owner's hands. That's powerful, even lands. Wow. What is this? Centaur Herald. Extermination. It planes. Thrive. Lizard people. What is this? Rekindled flame. Two and two red. Does four damage to target creature player. The beginning of your upkeep. If the opponent has no cards in hand, you may return Kindled Flame from a graveyard to your hand. Okay. Same recursion from it. Mark for death. Mastiff card. Some of this. A rare from uh one of the unsets, very cool. The unsets are always fun. Two, two black or two red. Roll six out of dice. Create uh, that number of one one Brainiac creature tokens equal to the result. Tap three on top Brainiacs you control. The next time you would roll six out of dice, instead of roll two six out of dice using the total of those rolls. So you can hold make a whole bunch of tokens. Bizarre. Uh, titanium golem. Vault breaker. Got a forest. A visions card. Righteous aura. One in a white. Enchantment, white, pay two life, prevent all damage to you from any one source. Powerful. Again, these random cards, are not sure what this is. These are like, uh, I don't know, maybe they won some tournament. Got Cemetery Reaper, one and two black. Other zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Two tap, uh, two black tap, exile creature card from a grave, put a two, two black zombie creature token to play. It's a two, two. Great for zombie tribal, for sure. 7th edition card, Goblin Digging Team. Got Just a Car, Sarah Angel. Yeah, this is definitely Sarah Angel right there. Sarah Angel, Angelic Purge, an Ape. Some random Pokemon card, Shuckle and Eagle Claw. Mm -hmm. What is this? Kia Skyon. Looks like a foil. This is like a packet of cards. A packet of foil rares. There's like four of them here. Okay. 
Demonic Rising, 3 and 2 black at the beginning of your end step. If you control exactly one creature, put a 5 5 black demon creature token flying on the battlefield. Very cool. Keeper of Progentius, 3 in the green. It's an elf druid, it's a 1 3. Whenever a player taps a mountain force or planes for mana, that player adds one mana to his or her mana pool of any type that land produces. <laughs> cool. Dijin of Wishes and Corpse Jack Menace. The wish counters uh, are the top card of your library, and you can kind of play it. If one or more one one counters will be placed on a creature control, put twice that many on it instead. Very cool. So some interesting little full rares were in there. Planes. What is this? This is a a mythic three and three black. It's a mythic. It's a six six with flying. Whenever hell carver demon deals combat damage to your player, sacrifice all other permits you control and discard your hand. Exile the top six card to your library. You may cast any number of those non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. That could be good or bad, but wow, powerful. A Swamp, Deadly Recluse, Rage of Reigns of Terror, a Mirage card, bury all white creatures or bury all green creatures, lose two life for each creature put into a graveyard this way. Beautiful art by Grey Leech. What is this? Some sort of stuff. We got Living Lore. Three in a blue, enters the battlefield, exile instead of sorcery card from your graveyard. Its power and toughness are equal to the exile card's converted mana cost. When it deals common damage to, uh, you may sacrifice it. If you do, it may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Okay. So it's like a creature that you can use to cast another spell if you'd like. Looks like I got a random... There's just a lot coming on here. Got Undermine, two blue and a black. Counter target spell, control loses three life. Nice. Got a Mastacor. Great card, four generic. Well, I just like the art. So four four by Paulo Parente. Being your upkeep, you may choose a card, choose and discard a card from your hand if you don't sacrifice it. Two deals one damage to target creature, and then you can pay two to regenerate it. Impressive from Urza's Destiny, I believe. What is this? This card is. I can't get this one out. Got dampening engine, four mana. Any player who controls more permanents than the other cannot play lands or artifact creatures or enchantment spells. A player may sacrifice a permanent to ignore the effects until end of turn. A little bit bent up, but pretty powerful. Puts a big hold on you. Some of these these red sleeves are just gross. Jar of Eyeballs. Whoa. Three mana. Whenever a creature control dies, put two eyeball counters on it. So you get two eyeballs for each creature. Three tap, remove an eyeball counter from it. Look at the top X cards of your library where X is the number of eyeball counters removed this way. Put one of them in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. That's fun. A lot of flavor. I really like this card. And it's funny that each creature gets two counters because each creature has two eyeballs. What do we got? This we got Thought Gorger. Two and two black. Trample enters the bathroom. Put a woman counter on it for each card in your hand. If you do... Uh, discard your hand. One of these battlefield draw a card for each one one counter on it. So you can use it for a card draw. If not, it's just a 2 2 with trample. What do we got here? Refocus, sweep away. There's just so much going on right here. Another one of these uh, C39 cards. Not really sure. Mass appeal. Got the curse. There's just a lot. It's got to have another pile for commons. Got to move that over a bit. Oh, nice. An Exhum from one of these Greyborn series, the premium series. One in a black. Each player puts a creature card from his or her graveyard onto the battlefield. Sorcerer speed, two mana. Put a creature on your battlefield. Very cool. Just a lot going on. Got Fathom Feeder. It's just a lot of cards here. A Devoid, Death Touch, and Ingest. It's a 1 1. Pay 3 blue and a black. Draw a card. Each opponent exiles to your library. Very cool. Got S Protect, Serve. What is this? Some sort of giant, hot head giant. Set this here. The commons in the back. There's just a lot. There's just a lot of cards. Blistering winds, planes. Got thorn elemental. Remember this card from when I was younger. This is the original printing, I believe. The tracker. Was it fifth dawn or something like that? Or oh, not fifth dawn? I can't remember. Dark steel five and two green. It's a worm. It's a six four. When it uh, attacks, tap all artifacts. Wow. Uh, Kozilek Trans. Uh, later. Min and Dena Wildborn. Two a red and a green. You may pay an additional land each turn. It's very cool. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Pay red and a green. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Target creature gains trample till end of turn. Cool. Got Shamble Bark. And then 
maybe just two more piles of cards, and I think that's all of them. And I'll just quickly go through the sleeves. I'm pretty sure I got them all out. Impeccable timing, a great heart. We send Lamage, Legion's card, Dora Sanctifier, Troll Hide, Latch Seeker, Firehoof Cavalry, Griff Vanguard, Restore the Peace, Random stuff right here, not sure. Some Pokemon card, an island. Got a chant. What is this? Uh, Corrupted Harvester. Completely disregard. A Boros Charm and some Dirty Sleeve. And also a Pilgrim's Eye for card draw. There's a whole bunch of rares. I can't believe how many there are. The Pet, Eighth Guy. Iona's Blessing, what is this, Dead Boar, Black and a Red, Destroy Target Creature, Planeswalker, Pretty Great Sorcery, Goblin Tunneler, There's just a whole lot going on in this collection, and so much random things, so many like, like, uh, receipts and stuff, Sanctuary, Infiltrator, Archromancer, what is this, another Foil Rare, uh, Two, a black, a green, and a blue. It's a cat demon. It's a 4-4. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile from your graveyard, put that many 1-1 one -one counters on it. Okay. So, you exile cards from your graveyard, put a counter on it. Or if someone exiles a card from your graveyard, you put a counter on it. Mental Vapors. Order of Ebros. Erebos. If I can get it out of here. Just so many cards to go through. This is Fifth Dawn into Thin Air. The Grove Dancer, got Negate, classic card right there. What is this one? This is uh, Kevrick, the Merciless Five, a black and a red. Whenever opponent casts a spell, deals damage to target creature or player. Each of the spells converted to mana cost is a 4 4. Okay. A Visions card, Raging Gorillas. <laughs> Griffin, oh no, that's not Griffin. Dust Tornado, Yu Gi Oh card, some Rosilla. Okay. Got Tower of Calamities, I think it does 12 damage. You pay 8 tap, deals 12 damage to target creature. A Beast Killer. Let me get these out of here. You got a Gleam of Authority, 1 and a white. It's a rare. Uh, enchant Creature gets plus 1, plus 1. For each 1-1 one, one counter on other creatures you control, Enchant Creature has villages and tap. Uh, white tap, Bloster. Okay. A Foil Rare. Got Veilstone Amulet. I think I have known this one before. Whenever you uh, play a spell, creatures you control can't be target of spells or abilities your opponent control. Beautiful art. Looks like an Mox or something like that. Very cool. Uh, Selesnia Guildgate. Narrow Escape. Maze Behemoth. Glogary Brown Scale. The Pet. Uh, Opaline Unicorn. Random Revised Mon Goblin Raider. It's <laughs> such a strange collection. Metalis, uh, Chainwalker, yeah, definitely like garbage on there, that's gross, it's like chocolate, Trumpet Blast, some of these cards just get to thrown away, Pokemon cards, not really sure, Planes, random crazy looking foil, Plague Beetle 7th edition, another Yu-Gi-Oh card, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not sure if these are really worth anything or not, shiny though. Pharaoh, Corpse Blocker, Spell Blast, Conversion Chamber, The Dragster, nice, got another Mythic, uh, Chorus Tyrant of Jund, 4, Black, Red, and a Green, Flying Haste, when it comes into play, gain control of all dragons and untap all dragons, other dragon creatures control have haste, it's a 7-7, seven, seven. Legendary Creature Dragon, that's beast, put this in your dragon deck and boom, you got it. Hunter's Prowess, 4 and a green until end of turn. Tiger creature gets plus 2 to swing gain trample. Whenever that creature deals damage to your player, uh, you draw that many cards. Okay. So there's just like a lot going on here. There's so many cards to go through. I can't even remember how many rares I got. Got Gold Bat, Reckless Bushwhacker. Oh, nice. An old uh, Urza's Legacy rare. Uh, Shivan Phoenix. Again, Phoenixes come back from your graveyard. 4 and 2 red. It's a 3 4. Was put into a graveyard from play, return it to his owner's hand. So, pretty much, can't go away. 
Is it Boilerworks? Uh, Revel of the Fallen God. Put four two two red and green star creature tokens with haste onto the battlefield. Be cool if it's instant. Super expensive. Three two red and two green though. Uh, yoked ox. One mana for zero four. Sparrow. Planes. Random foil. Seller of songbirds. There's just so much stuff. I got foil, foil, rares, mythics. Rares. So many. Champion of stray souls. Four and two black. Skeleton warrior. It's a mythic. Three and two black sacrifice. Uh, X other creatures return X other creature cards from graveyard to the battlefield. Powerful. Can sacrifice tokens. Five and two black. Put it uh, top of your library. Wait. Put it the on the top of your library from your graveyard. It's four four. Okay. Looks like another mythic. Just like a lot of mythics here. Helia, God of the Sun. Three and a red, uh, white indestructible. As long as your devotion to white is less than five, it isn't a creature. It's a five six. Other creatures control a vigilance, and you can pay two and two white. Put a two one white cleric enchantment creature token onto the battlefield. Powerful stuff. Nyxborn Wolf. Got Guild Mage. What is this? Power Matrix. Target creature gets plus one plus one. Gets flying first. I can trample till end of turn. It's an artifact, and you can tap and just give that creature a lot of power. So Mercadian Masks, random Yu-Gi-Oh card, Island, a common, Pegasus, you got some sort of Whispering Madness, what is this, the Kithkin guy, a chant, some sort of rare, that Death's Grip, X, a white and a black, just X damage to target creature player, you gain X life, very cool, man this pile is getting pretty big, what is this, Moss Worth Bridge, got Hideaway, Green Tap, you may play Remove Card uh, without paying its mana cost, if you control, uh, if creatures you control have power 10 or greater, okay, so you got Gigantiform again, Mind Control, Harbor Serpent, the Striker, what is this, some Exodus card, got Slaughter, Buyback, Pay for Life, very cool, nice buyback cost. Deceiver. The Biter. Gift is Orha. Very cool. Jace's Mind Seeker 4 2 blue. Okay. Make some room, some cards. Random old Chronicles Legend, Summon Legend. The Elders. Eh, Elds Dragon. Okay. Uncommon card right here. What is this? Uh, the bureaucrats. Their bureaucrat stuff. The noble steed again. What is this one? The gargoyle. Almost done. Now to get the last couple cards out from here. I believe that's all the cards I have left. And then it looks like another rare. The Murder King. Black and a red. Zombie War. It's a 2-2. Two, two. One in a red. Sacrifice another creature. Deals two damage to target player. One in a black. Sacrifice a creature. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. So it can come back from your graveyard if you want. Got a cliffside lookout. Random sleeves. Some of the sleeves are just really dirty though. Waking the Bear. Random foil rare from Alpha Brawl. Six and two red target creature and opponent controls deals damage equal to its power to each other creature that player controls and each of those creatures deal damage to, uh, to its power to that creature. So pretty much you make your whole opponent's team just <laughs> hurt each other. Got a Boros Charm. That's so common. Trusty Companion. Got Root. A Grievel. Wild. Common. This is an uncommon. Return Felix Alpha Bra, just a non foil. What is this? Is this signed? Maybe? Or maybe it's the kid signed it. <laughs> Five and two red, double strike and a morph. It's a four three elemental. Okay, possibly it's signed. Guild Mage, another abrupt decay. Great little common, or uh, great little rare. Runes Maker, what do we got here? What is this? Sisters of Stone Death. 4-2 black and 2 green. Legendary creature Gorgon. It's a 7-5. Be 
pay green. Um, creature has to block it this turn. Pay black and a green. Remove from the game. Target creature blocking or block by it. Two and a black. Put creature uh, card removed from the game with sister. Stone death into play under control. That'd be cool for a commander or something. What do we got here? Got to into the void. Got to deploy the gate watch. Four and two uh, white. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put up to two Planeswalker cards from among them into the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any random order. Great with the new set full of Planeswalkers. Zombie Outlander foil. Random Yu-Gi-Oh! sleeve. A giant growth. Uh, Hiddenness' Trove. Looks like I found a bunch of treasure. Five and two black enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile all cards from target opponent's graveyard. You may play uh, land cards echo this way. Uh, you may cast non-land cards echo this way. You can't cast more than one spell uh, this way each turn. Wow, so you can pretty much play your opponent's lands in their spells. Wild. Looks like a foil burning oil. A swampy swamp. A protector. A paladin. And then the last card I got is a Wind Reader Sphinx, 5 and 2 blue, flying. Whenever a creature with flying attacks, you may draw a card. So 3-7, they can give you a whole bunch of card draw. Very, very, very interesting collection. Some of the cards and sleeves, the sleeves are pretty dirty. Some of the other cards weren't. Definitely a little bit of muck on some of them. Even my fingers feel a bit nasty. Uh, interesting, it came with some random like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I really don't know much about Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Some of them just look shiny, but I'm not sure if that means anything. It came with three piles of commons, a uh, big pile of uncommons, actually a huge pile of rares. It's a shame one of the rares was from Odyssey and just torn up. Uh, just a huge pile of rares, just like a lot. I don't even know. It's going to take a while to go through them all. So yeah, it's just very strange to find this sort of collection. Uh, it, I don't think the seller really knew what they had. I think it was like hidden in some sort of garage or something. There was like a leaf inside of the box. A uh, little pile of uh, mythics, which is pretty cool. Always nice to get some mythics. A small little pile of foil rares, which is interesting. And honestly, from the picture, uh, you j I didn't expect any of this stuff at all. I just expected it to be kind of like a crazy mix mass and mess. And that's what I got. Uh, a bunch of foil cards here, a couple of foils. Some older stuff, like an old reanimate, uh, some random old rare from like some of the unsets, which is pretty cool to see. There's always interesting sets. And a random old pile of like uh, older cards. Ice Sage, some Revise, some Vision, some Mirage. Very interesting, kind of like the whole history of Magic the Gathering almost. Cards from like Revised all the way up to like some of the new unsets or Shadows over Innistrad. I saw some uh, con, no, not cons. What is it? Uh, Ether Reborn and also the Egyptian theme set. I drank to Nyx or some like some commander stuff as well. So just a very interesting collection. I hope you guys all enjoyed these type of videos. I know they're a bit longer and a bit long winded, but I thoroughly like them and enjoy them. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see stuff like this. If you'd like to see more, let me know what you think. And I just hope you're all doing wonderful today, staying positive, enjoying your 2020. And I just want to say, have a beautiful, wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, I thought this collection deserved one final little end recap. I just wanted to show you my favorite cards and notable cards and just ones I thought were cool for my collection. Overall, my favorite cards are definitely in this pile right here. And the favorite one I got from this collection is definitely the Yavamaya Hollow. What a cool, iconic, legendary land from Urza's uh, Destiny, I believe. Edge Color Stream Mana Pool, or you can pay green and regenerate a creature. Awesome card. Also got myself a Thought Seize. I got a Nithos Shrine to Nyx. Got a Staff of Domination. Rings of Brighten Earth. Uh, Kyritus Tyrant of Jund. Cool reanimate classic card, Noxious Gear Hulk, Helio, God of the Sun, Timmy, Power Gamer, ridiculous cards, come on. Grave Crawler, Iconic Zombie, Cemetery Reaper. I got myself two abrupt decay. Uh, I got myself Anissa's Voice of Zendikar, uh, Foil Siege Gang Commander, Foil Gazara Zol Plague Queen, Icy Card from Cold Snap, Foil Keeper of Progentius, uh, Foil Exhum from the premium uh, decks. I uh, got a Lich Lord of Unix, a Matter Reshaper, a Thought Not Seer, uh, Earthen Sworn, Canonist, Una Queen of Fae, Karmic Guide, Mirian Crusader, Sword of Paranus, Merkfield Liege, Rites of Flourishing, 
Uh, the Undying Partisan, uh, Lotus Bloom with Suspend 3, Pithing Needle, Champion of Lampholt, Siege Rhino, Whip of Erebos, Spine Rock Null, Extrapate, uh, Blind Obedience, Marcus of uh, Tabernacle, uh, Bident of Thyrsa, Mina Den Wildborn, Jedbor, uh, Caverick of Merciless, and Veilstone Amulet. Also got myself a small little pile of Mythics right here, just some smaller Mythics. Uh, Herald the English, uh, Crush of Tentacles, World Fire, uh, the first tree, interesting card right here. Uh, Champion of Stray Souls, Deploy the Gatewatch, the Sphinx. Got myself a nice little pile of rares right here, just gonna go through some of them. Everson Judgment, Spirited Away, just like a whole bunch of rares from a whole bunch of sets spawning throughout, actually, so the, throughout the history of Magic the Gathering that I would say. All the way, it looks like the earliest card I got in this set was from Revised, all the way to some like Amonkhet or something like that, or Battle for Zendikar. Actually, I think Amonkhet came after that. So I'm just kind of going through these rares right here, just a whole lot of them. Interesting slime card right there. And a lot of Theros, returning to Theros, Chain to the Rocks, Mana Barbs, Endbringer, Thopter Assembly. Uh, Living Lore, Fathom Feeder, just so many cards going on there. Moss Wood Bridge. Some of them definitely have some like uh, dirt on them, and some of them I had to just throw away because there was so much on, on them. This, I'm not sure if it's a signature or just like some doodle. I do have to look that up. A whole bunch of cards right there. Interesting sort of silver border as well. A small little pile of full rare cards that I got as well. Demonic Rising, Corpse Jack Menace, Decision of Witches. The Vaser, uh, Gleam Authority, Alpha Brawl, a small little pile of foils as well, just random foils, uh, just commons and uncommons. I think they're actually all commons. And then a small little pile of older rares. I do like the older rares. Beautiful Masticore, Power Matrix, uh, Skirk Alarmus, Star Storm, Ghastly Remains, Full Zombie. Uh, crazy looking art right there. It's like a naked mole right with bat wings. Pretty cool. Contested Cliffs, Leviathan, Undermine, Dampening Engine, Thorn. Uh, Elemental Shivan Phoenix. Yeah, so anyways, really cool little collection. Super happy with it. Not too expensive. Uh, some of the cards were definitely pretty damaged, pretty bent, and had some like chocolate and stuff. I found some interesting, weird receipts and all sorts of crazy things in it. So super random, but overall, super happy and satisfied with it. Hope you all enjoy these type of videos. I know they're longer and longer winded. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you made it to the end. If you did, let me know. And I just hope you're doing wonderful. Have a beautiful, wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.